Introducing Apple Vision Pro. Vision Pro, Vision Pro, Vision Pro, Vision Pro. Yes, Apple's mixed reality headset is now a reality. Here at the company's Cupertino campus, it just showed off the long-awaited reality headset. The face computer, my term, not theirs, bridges virtual reality, where you're fully transported to a virtual world, with augmented reality, where you see virtual objects in your real world. Apple's calling it spatial computing. And yes, it starts at $34.99. Apple spent 45 minutes detailing how it works and what you can do with it. Let me break it down for you in way less time. These are $3 lab goggles. The headset looks like a pair of aluminum and glass ski goggles. Basically these, but cooler and way more expensive. The front of the device has a screen so people can see your eyes when you're wearing it. Creepy, kinda. It looks way slimmer and lighter than Meta's Quest Pro. One of the big reasons for that, a cord from the headset attaches to this battery pack. Apple says the battery will last two hours. You can also plug it into an outlet to use it all day. On the one hand, I'm excited not to wear a battery on my head. On the other hand, battery fanny packs. There are no controllers like other VR headsets. You use your hands to navigate around. There are multiple cameras on the device too, which help you see the real world with digital objects in it. The Apple Watch-like digital crown dial lets you get to the home screen and also controls how much of the virtual world you see. You can even use the cameras to capture spatial 3D videos and photos. It's easy to capture a spatial photo or video with just the press of a button. If you're wondering how you log in, iris scans with optic ID. Apple says your eye scans are kept on the device. So what do you do once you've got that on your head and all that other stuff on your body? Well, Apple showed off a few experiences. Surprisingly, a lot of the things shown have to do with work. You can see multiple windows from your Mac above your desk. Microsoft apps like Excel, Word, and Teams make full use of the expansive canvas and sharp text rendering of Vision Pro. You can FaceTime with family or colleagues. The FaceTime stuff is pretty crazy. Since you're not holding a camera out in front of your face, you create a scan instead, basically a hologram to appear in your chats. There's stuff to do in your downtime too, like watching immersive 3D movies and playing Apple arcade games. There's game controller support too. But what Apple's really hoping is that software developers build new applications for Vision OS, the operating system powering it all. Disney CEO Bob Iger even showed off some virtual Disney experiences. This platform will allow us to bring Disney to our fans in ways that were previously impossible. I have a lot of thoughts on it all. I should be trying it out soon. Stay tuned for my first impressions.